don't know about you, that made us jump here on set. There's new video. It's from California. It shows the moments. Illegal fireworks explode in a neighborhood. This is South Los Angeles. More than a dozen people hurt as a result. Now, that explosion happened as the Los Angeles uh, LAPD, they talked about it a lot on social media yesterday, the bomb squad, transporting about 5,000 pounds of these confiscated fireworks. It's unclear whether they went off without warning or if the bomb squad was attempting a controlled detonation in its trailers. It's like a scene from a movie. It, it sure sounded like My that, goodness. right? Yikes. A look at some of our other top stories on a Thursday morning. Right now, President Joe Biden and First Lady Dr. Jill Biden are on their way to South Florida to visit the site of that building collapse in Surfside. And the White House says that they want to thank the search and rescue teams who have been working tirelessly. The President and First Lady will also meet with families of the victims. And the President says he wants to meet with state and local officials as well to make sure they have all of the resources needed. Well, the inventor of the World Wide Web has sold the original code at auction for $5.4 million. The opening bid in the week-long online auction was $1,000. The files contain the basis of the languages and protocols underpinning the internet as we know it, including the HTTP and HTML. Fun fact, the first web page actually went live 30 years ago in 1991. That is. No idea it was that old. Yeah. A watchdog report says the IRS had more than 35 million tax returns to process at the end of this year's filing season. That's a backlog four times bigger than at the end of 2019. The challenges of working during the pandemic and last-minute tax changes made by Congress to provide relief for struggling Americans created a difficult task, really, for the IRS. Well, as the monsoon ramps up in our region, we as meteorologists use every tool available to help predict when storms may hit. And SRP is assisting in that effort again this summer by launching two weather balloons per day right here in the valley. Here's our meteorologist, Jorge Torres. 